You know, I'm here to tell you a story today. And it's a story about someone whose life was changed by being nice at a seemingly unimportant moment. And that someone was me, 10 years ago. Rather dashing chap. And I had this idea that I wanted to write a book on JavaScript. Now, that might not seem like a big deal right now, because if you go and search on Amazon, there are probably hundreds. But at the time, JavaScript wasn't all that interesting to people. We're talking about before Firefox, before Ajax was a thing. And so there weren't a lot of these books out there because there, weren't, there wasn't as much interest as there is today. But I still thought this would be a good idea, and I put together a proposal, decided to start sending it to publishers. The first publisher that I sent it to was SitePoint. Now, SitePoint had just started publishing books. And I was really excited, and then they came back and said no. I said, well, we don't really understand why people would want to buy this book. And by the way, we don't really like your writing style either. So being a little bit crushed, I thought of all the rude things I could send back. Uh, but instead, I sent an email back and I said, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time and the feedback. Uh, is there anything I can do to improve and get better? And I didn't hear anything back. Okay, so I decided to go back to square one, figure out where else can I submit this. And then I submitted it to APRESS. Now, APRESS at the time had never published a JavaScript book before. And I was assigned to an acquisitions editor uh, who kind of disappeared over the course of our conversations. It's like emails started bouncing back. So I wasn't really sure what went on. I eventually tracked down somebody else and got assigned to a second acquisition editor named John Franklin. And I worked with John over the course of a couple months to figure out if this could work. And eventually, he came back and said, sorry, we're going to pass as well. Now, at this point, after having been rejected twice, I was kind of angry. And my reactions were ranging from, I should just not respond at all, to, I should tell him you wasted a bunch of my time, but I decided neither of those were a good idea. And instead, I wrote back to him and I said, thank you. And something interesting happened. He wrote back. And he said, you know, you're welcome. And personally, I think this is actually a really good idea. And we might not be the right publisher for this, but if you could go to a different publisher, you might have a shot at getting this book out why don't you contact this guy over at Rocks? His name is Jim Minitel, and talk to him and see what happens. So I contacted Jim and explained the situation, and it turned out that he was looking for somebody to write a book on JavaScript. And we put our heads together and came up with something that was a mix of what he wanted and what I wanted, uh, and got that through Rocks. So this little sequence, I finally got into a publisher, and out of that came Professional JavaScript, my first book. And that was pretty well received. And I was really excited to hear from a guy, Eric Moralia, who was working at Yahoo at the time, who said, hey, you know, we're using your book internally to teach people JavaScript. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so cool. I love Yahoo, that's a great place. And he said, if you're ever in California, let me know, I'd love to grab coffee. But cool, I will definitely let you know. In the meantime, this thing called Ajax came out. And Jim convinced me that it would be a good idea to write this book on Ajax. So Professional Ajax came out. It was actually the second Ajax book out on the market at the time. It was a book I didn't even think about writing, but because Jim suggested it, I went ahead and did that. And because of that, uh, I got contacted by Google to say, hey, what do you think about coming to California and working for Google? I said, oh, well, I don't know, but I'd be happy to talk to you about it. And so I flew out and interviewed with Google uh, in California. And while I was out here, 
met with Eric and had coffee and decided I would interview at Yahoo as well. And eventually decided to take the job at Yahoo and move from Boston to California. Now, at Yahoo, I met some really great people. Uh, one of those people was Adam Plotty, who I shared a cube with. And one day I said, you know, Adam, I really want to get into speaking. I think that would be a lot of fun. And Adam said, oh, well, do you know this guy, Bill Scott? I said, no, I don't know who that is. So, well, he works here and he does speaking all the time. You guys might recognize him from 15 minutes ago. <laughs> and so I sat down and had lunch with Bill and said, yeah, you know, I'd really like to get into speaking. And he set me up with my very first speaking gig. Now, also at Yahoo was Nate Keckley, who was a fantastic speaker and gave me a lot of advice early on. And so all of these people contributed to me starting to speak. And since then, I've done a lot more speaking. Now, also at Yahoo was Javi Hoffman. And Javi emailed me one day and said, hey, we're looking to do this Yahoo Press with O'Reilly, and we want to write a book on JavaScript performance. Would you be interested in writing it? So I said, sure, that sounds interesting. And she introduced me to Mary Tressler from O'Reilly, and we worked together to put together this book, along with several co-authors. And out came high-performance JavaScript. And later on, I had an idea for a book all on my own and went back to Mary and said, hey, I kind of have this thought about creating a book about maintainability. What do you think? And I worked with her and with O'Reilly, and out came maintainable JavaScript. So what I find interesting is when I look back at this journey, a couple of things jump out at me. One is how important the people I met along the way were to this entire process. It's very hard to accomplish things without other people. And second, I can trace back all of what's happened to one moment where I said thank you over email to a man that I've never actually met in real life. He probably has no idea that he changed the course of my life. And so if I can leave you with a thought, it would be this. Be excellent to each other. The people that you interact with, the people that you meet, matter. So think before you speak. Think before you email. Think before you tweet. And always remember to say, Thank you.